Hi everyone, tonight we're going to read Snuggle Time Bible Stories by Glennis Nilst. God's Good World, Genesis chapters 1 through 2. God saw everything he made and it was very good, Genesis 1 31. God's voice spoke in the darkness and said, let there be light. The sun popped out and land appeared. Our world was made just right. God made every animal that ran or jumped or flew. It's good, it's good, cried out, and guess what? God made you. All aboard, Genesis 6 through 9. Lord, you alone keep me safe, Psalm 4, verse 8. Side by side and two by two, the creatures lined up straight. Jump on board, old Noah cried. We don't want to be late. The rain poured down for 40 days. Then Noah saw the sky. High above, a rainbow shone. God kept them safe and dry. The baby in a basket, Exodus 2. Genesis 28 verse 15 says, I will watch over you everywhere you go. God, please save our baby, Moses' sister cried. She watched the basket floating. The river was so wide. A princess came out walking and saw the baby boy. She rescued little Moses and his mama clapped for joy. God knows your name, 1 Samuel 3. Galatians 3.26 says, you are all children of God. Samuel snuggled in his bed and closed his little eyes. When someone called his name out loud, what a great surprise. Samuel, God softly said, you're mine and I love you. And just like God knew Samuel, God knows and loves you too. The little boy and the big giant. 1 Samuel 17. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 says, and you can be sure that I am always with you. Goliath was a giant, much taller than a tree. David said, I'm just a boy, but God will be with me. David swung his little sling and outshot one smooth stone. The giant toppled to the ground and David ran back home. The baby king, Luke 2. Luke 2 verse 11 says, a savior has been born to you. Have you heard the story of the tiny baby king who snuggled in a manger and made the angel sing? Bells rang out in heaven as Mary kissed her boy. Shepherds smiled and donkeys danced, a stable full of joy. Jesus loves the children. Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 15. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Some children came to Jesus one bright and sunny day. He's busy, the disciples cried. You'll have to go away. But Jesus called the children and sat them on his knee. I love you all, he softly said, and you belong to me. The Snuggly Sheep, Luke 15, verses 3 through 7. We are all his people. We are the sheep belonging to his flock. Psalm 100, verse 3. A shepherd traveled oh so far to try and find his lamb. I'm coming, little one, he cried. I'll save you if I can. And when he found his sheep, he scooped her in the air, and then he snuggled in her arms, safe in the shepherd's care. The boat that bobbed, Mark 4, verses 35 through 41. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46, verse 10. Jesus, save us from the storm, the scared disciples cried. Their little boat bobbed up and down. They were so terrified. Jesus spoke into the wind. Be still, they heard him say. And just like that, the lake was calm. The storm had gone away. A brand new friend, Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Jesus said, I have called you friends. John 15, verse 15. Can you see the little man sitting in a tree? He's waiting there for Jesus, thinking he won't notice me. Jesus called Zacchaeus, jump down. I want to eat with you. Zacchaeus had a brand new friend. It was a dream come true. A little lunch, John chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. Share with the Lord's people who are in need, Romans 12, 13. A crowd of hungry people were sitting on a hill. Who will feed them, Jesus asked, and one boy said, I will. He had only two little fish, five tiny loaves of bread, but Jesus blessed that little lunch and everyone was fed. The best surprise, John 20 verses 11 through 18. I will see you again, then you will be full of joy. John 16 verse 22. Mary felt so very sad. Her friend Jesus had died. She tiptoed slowly to the cave and peeked her head inside. Mary's heart was filled with joy and tears shone in her eyes. Jesus was alive again. It was the best surprise. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.